Okay, I'm like, it's coming to you live. No, I'm just I just said I wasn't going to do that. Bennett and I, we met, I feel like it was at least a solid year and a half ago. Yeah, Kips right? Bay. Right? At Kips Bay. 2015. Um, I'm going to have to tell this story just because I had this moment. I had gone through the whole show house and then I came down the back staircase and very dramatically as you entered the room that Bennett had designed, you you were just like, I, I don't know, I just, it, I had this moment which just felt completely magical. I mean, it, I of course recognized De Gournay right away, and I think I just turned to you thinking that you were staff, <laughs> and said, this is like the most beautiful room, I'm absolutely in love with it. And then you kind of looked like, oh, well, thank you very much, and I went, oh, did you actually, are you the designer? And I thought that was so sweet. It was that... a very, very nice moment for me. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It was a nice moment for me, too. I love a mix of um, really saturated materials and really textural elegant materials but also things that are accessible you know things that you can look at and feel uh, are beautiful and special and unique yeah. Yeah. but also ones that you want to live in and you want to sit on yeah you know, silk velvet as it crushes and as, we, <laughs> as i'm like what do you mean <laughs> tell us a little bit about your philosophy of design and, and and maybe those use of like as we would say an interior monologue those interior monologue artisans that uh, we kind of seek out? And... No, for sure. Um, I love really unique and original things. Mm -hmm. um, I, I gravitate more towards you know handmade things, um, but it, it doesn't have to be. It's not a specific price point. It's not yeah. a, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to come from a specific country. But I like things that you don't see everywhere, mm -hmm. but I also really like to pay attention to mixing them in a thoughtful way. So I really spend a lot of time trying to find unique things that mm -hmm that work for, you know, that work for me and work for my clients and no one gets the same package. I just wanted to know a little bit about your history because this part of New York that I find like super romantic is the whole Great Gatsby part of Long Island and those beautiful old homes and did that affect you I think growing up? It was a beautiful place to grow up mm. where there was um, an element of that really elegant part of history. Yeah, uh, So, which is hard to find in you know, the U.S. I feel like there's this, this movement starting to happen in design where younger generations, I, I hope, are going to start to appreciate a little bit more um, that there might be something that's like a timeless piece that they can invest in. The ground paper alone is a really, um, really uh, well-made, really intricately designed uh, element of the paper. And then on top of that, you obviously get into all of this painting and then the application of color afterwards. So, I mean, it's... And it's it, all painted by hand? All painted by hand. You're just describing like all the model, like the modeling of the paper and the painting, but then you start to see like the black line work and then like it's some of it's like pushing and pulling forward and back and like all the tonality. Uh, I, I mean, I just, I, I honestly don't even know what to do with myself. It's so, it's so magical to me and this is why we had that moment because I have the same reaction every time I walk in. And I was informed that this is the most expensive to go hate wallpaper. Of course. For me it's it's so important to to have things that have a soul. Yeah. You know, um, and to imagine I think a big part of it also is imagining the history of that piece. You know, to, to circle back to your sort of old soul and you know, you've working in a new way. I think it's really important to respect, you know, the years of design and craftsmanship that you know, came before, but make it relevant. I'm not, yeah. I'm not creating something for a room at a museum. Exactly, yeah. But I, I think, you know, people have done it, I'm not reinventing the wheel either. People mm -hmm. have done it much better than me before, and it's, you know, up to me to put my own mark on it. Yeah, and I think you're doing that really well, like, so far. So it'll be fun to see how many more, well, how many more uh, spaces I can fall in love with and, like, you know, before I'm too old to, to get there. <laughs> I want, like, one of those cue cards. Mm -hmm.